Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, we will dive into Git branches. But before we do that, don't forget to smash the like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all the other Git videos. Let's talk about Git branches, why we need them and when, where do they fit into the workflow. Okay, so if you followed my last video you know that we've created the master branch and a few commits on it and now we've decided to work on a new feature let's say we want to create a new navigation component in our project at that moment we would create a branch they usually refer to as a feature branch and by creating this feature branch we will be able to work independently from the master we will create multiple commits on our feature branch and once we're happy with this we want to merge it back to master. This commit, the merge commit, it's called merge commit, where we're taking all our branches commits and merging them to master. And that will let others to pull our changes, use the new navigation, and in the future, they do the same thing with their feature. Okay, so this is the general flow. You create a master branch at the start of the project, and then when you're implementing new features, you will create your own feature branches work on them and once you're happy you merge them to master okay so this is a visual graph of what we will be doing in this video we'll go back to vs code back to terminal and by typing git branch we can see which branches we have currently available we have only the master and the asterisk means that we are currently on master so we have master checked out to create a new branch we'll type in git branch and the name of it okay so we'll we'll call our features slash navigation if you're using any bug trackers or any task trackers you will need to also add a task id that makes it easier to find this and associate it with your maybe jira task and i will create this branch if we now look at the branches you will see that we have two branches, but we are still on the master. Okay, so by running the git branch command, you only create a branch, but you're not directly switching to it. To switch to it, we need to check it out. Okay, so git checkout and the name of our feature will switch to it. If you want to quickly jump between your last branch you've checked out, you can do git checkout hyphen and then switches between the last checked out branch. So if you do it again, you are back on the feature branch. Okay, so very quickly, if you want to move away to other branch, get something and come back to here, you can do it quickly by using the git checkout hyphen. Now let's create a few commits on our feature branch. We'll rename the text to or test to navigation. Then we'll change the content and commit our changes. The message is new navigation and then we will do one more update to the navigation file. We'll add the shop URL or shop text. We'll again add it. And now if we have a look at the git log with the pretty and one line format, we'll see that we have the list of all commits made on our repository. The first one was on the master branch, the new file. Then we have new navigation commit and the shop URL. Okay, so this is the list of commits we've just made. And now let's try to merge it back into master. If we are referring back to the graph we looked at at the start of the video, now we are at the merge commit point. So we want to check out the master branch and merge our feature branch into it. Okay, so that's how we need to do it. We'll check out master will merge the feature branch into it. And now let's do the same thing in VS Code. It should be quite easy. We'll firstly git checkout master. Now we are switched on master. When we checked out the master, our navigation file is gone. Okay, so that's how the working directory, the working tree changed to master. So all the changes from the branch are saved into the branch so don't panic you still have our changes but we only see the master because that's where we currently are okay so now 
if we want to merge our feature branch, we need to go git merge and the name of our feature branch, okay, which was features slash task ID and navigation. Hopefully I didn't misspell it wrong. Git merge features task ID navigation. So git merge and the name of the branch you want to merge into the branch you currently on. Okay, so this should merge our changes and if we do it correctly, we should see the navigation file show up in master and the test.txt disappearing. Okay, so let's do that. And we write, that's exactly what happened. Two files changes, three insertions, one deletion. So this master snapshot was merged with our snapshot and the final outcome is navigation.txt. Okay, so the new shape of master is exactly how our branch was. And this is how you merge branches into each other. Now let's have a look at the git status and you'll see that our branch, the origin master is, is ahead of the origin master by two commits because we made the commit from our branch into master and what's currently in the remote repository is behind by our two commits. Okay, so we'll need to push our changes by simply git push. That will take our local master changes and move them to the remote server. Now, if we look at the git status, you'll see that we are on a branch master. Our branch is up to date with the origin master and there's nothing to commit and working tree is clean. Okay, same thing if we look at the git log with the pretty one line, we'll see the branches commits, the new navigation and shop URL commits laid into the line of commits on the master. Okay, so there will be a total of three commits. Now let's have a look at the slideshow again, just to clarify and validate what we've done by the merge commit. We took all the two commits from our branch and laid it onto master. And we've also moved the head fast forward the head to the last commit. So anyone checking out master now would get all our changes included. So hopefully this makes it even clearer. Now we can delete the unused branch. Let's have a look at all the branches, get the name of the branch we want to delete and type in git branch hyphen D to delete and paste the name of the branch. This will remove it. Now if we look at the branches, we only see the master. Okay, remember this branch was only created locally so no one else would ever see your changes. The only way they would see them is after you made the commit. Okay, we could also have done, we could also have pushed this branch remotely if we needed, let's say someone wanted to help you on this feature, you would need to push the branch remotely first for them to be able to check that branch out. Okay, so that's the difference between local branch and remote branch. In this tutorial, we only worked with a local branch. To push your local branch to the remote repo, you would need to use the git push, push it into origin and the name of your branch. Okay, so if we did this before we deleted our branch, we would push our feature branch into the remote repo. So this is the command how you push your local branch to the origin. And that's it all for today. Now you know how to manage your Git branches inside of your projects. Hope you've enjoyed this branches breakdown. And if you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, happy coding.